Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do a little video on how do the different types of precip form, meaning how to sleet and freezing rain and snow, what happens in up in the atmosphere in order for sleet to happen and freezing rain. And for those that don't know how sleet looks like, this is how sleet looks like. It's not hail, it's mistaken with hail, but it's little sleet balls, tiny. I mean, they are maybe the size of a smaller than a BB. A BB pellet, if you know what I'm talking about, then you have a good comparison. It's not hail, and freezing rain always causes this. It coats everything with ice. It's treacherous for driving. It's just one of the most nasty, dangerous winter precipitation that could happen. And it's not even fun to play in or anything. It's not like if it's snow. It's just ice that's going to be gone probably with the midday heating of the next day. So... This is a good representation of it, a very well representation of what happens. And some of you may be looking at this and not understanding it. Well, see these clouds and the snow? Everything starts off as snow. I know I was also surprised by that, but I learned that around two years ago. But for those that you don't know, yes, everything starts off as snow. And it all depends what happens around 8,000 feet and below. If there's warm air, like during the summer, all throughout, then it just drops as rain. If there is a, um, a pretty deep warm layer in the atmosphere, but on the surface, surface temperatures are cold, then it doesn't have time to refreeze the, the precipitation. So it just freezes on contact because it's so super cool. It's pretty much super chilled water that's falling through here because it started off as snow, went into rain, and now it didn't have enough time to go back into um, a ice form, but it's very, very cold water. I mean, very cold, so it freezes on everything on contact. And then we have sleet, which there is a very shallow layer of warm air, which melts the snowflake into a raindrop. But then the cool air, there's a, there's a really deep layer of cold air on the surface, and they have time to refreeze and drop as little pellets, little balls. Even say here frozen, precipitation melts in shallow warm air, then refreezes into sleep before reaching the ground. And that's why sleet is always kind of mistaken for hail, because they do look similar but they form completely differently. Hail is in a thunderstorm and up in a cloud. So keep those two things in mind. Sleet and hail are not the same thing. And this is how snow forms. When there is no warm layers and it just falls right through. The snow goes with no problem, no warm air, and hits the ground as snow. And if you may be asking, well, what pattern system or what must happen in order for this warm air to override over this cold air. Well, naturally, warm air rises over cold air. So if you put warm air mixed in with cold air, then the warm air rises up to a certain level. And especially if you have really cold temperatures, like we had last week, really cold temperatures, look at this, negative 3, all of these freezing temperatures, and a low comes out and brings warm air, then the warm air will rise, rise above it, and when the moisture is available, it will start falling as snow, it will melt through the warm air, and then uh, reach the cold air, and that will turn back into sleet, which is why with this storm system that we have, this one that's uh, the Christmas storm, the Christmas blizzard, you could see this huge swath of sleet, this huge swath of freezing rain, because a lot of the cold air was still there, except all of a sudden, so suddenly, the temperatures rose up, They the temperatures were just incredibly warm are going to be there. It's going to be 50 degrees in Chicago on Christmas Day. No. Yeah, no, on, um, around midnight, it's supposed to be 50 degrees in Chicago. That's just insane. And if you take this cold air... And you take this warm air from the low, from the Gulf of uh, from the Gulf of Mexico, and you combine those two, the warm air will warm, 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 <laughs> the warm air will rise, and it will cause sleet, 
freezing rain because none of the cold, the cold air won't have full time to retreat. So they'll just be layered on top of each other, causing these messes of sleet, freezing rain, and then just plain rain where the cold didn't have enough time to stay or it already retreated away and back into Canada. But where it's cold enough, snow and it's going to be I think 15 inches with this storm winter storm Europa magnificent but very dangerous storm at the same time so this is just kind of a quick little insight hopefully this helped you understand more how sleet versus freezing the rain versus snow forms as always guys thank you so much for watching and see you on the next episode